What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, I want to show you how to get a ton of ash. And the ash that I'm talking about is what's produced from the campfires or the wood when you craft in any of the benches that require you to light a fire. So for this example, I will be using the campfire and I'm going to be using three different types of fuel in these campfires. So I have grass in that one. I have branches in this one. And then in this one, I have the hard wood. Now I do not recommend using the hard wood or the branches in your campfire. I actually recommend recommend using the grass. So I tested the wood ash in each one of these and each one gives you one wood ash per item that's burnt. So as you can see, as I plug these all in here, each one of them, when it burns one, it's going to produce one wood ash. So your cheapest route is going to be to go with the grass. Now, obviously this gives you the shortest amount of burn time but you are going to produce that byproduct much faster over time. And you do need this byproduct for things like bandages or planters. A lot of different things require the wood ash. So like I said, if you want to build up tons of wood ash, just burn the grass because for each grass that burns, you do get one wood ash. And the same goes for the branches for each one that burns you do get one and the hardwood same thing you get one for each one that burns hardwood is going to be your slowest at producing the wood ash because it lasts the longest in the campfire so it burns for the longest amount of time now if you're looking for places to just get a ton of grass i recommend going down towards the water anywhere near water you should see these kind of plants and if you use a sickle you can amass just an absolute ton of grass from these things so you just kind of walk in a line along the shore and these are going to produce an absolute ton of grass for you and the sickle is unlocked at level 15. So once you have the stone sickle unlocked is a very easy recipe. It's two straw rope, six branches and 18 rubble. You should have that lying around, but you definitely want to use a sickle on these because you're gonna get just so much more resources when you're harvesting them. So you can see as I'm having an issue actually hitting them, but there is just an absolute ton of grass down in these areas and you can just walk along and auto harvest it. And just from that little bit that I harvested, I have 85 grass. So it's very easy to walk away from here with well over 500 grass and put that in your campfire, start cooking food with it and leave the rest in there and make the wood ash for when you get things like bandages or planters, compost, all those different things that require wood ash unlocked you'll already be sitting on a pile of wood ash and all set up for those recipes that require it. One last thing that I wanna mention here, as far as time goes, you can see I have 13 wood ash crafted there. Now this is gonna be the fastest way to craft the wood ash. The next is gonna be the branches. You can see it's about half as quick at crafting on that. And then the hardwood is gonna be about half as quick of crafting the wood ash as well. So your fastest way to stockpile Pile wood ash and cheapest way is going to be just to burn grass and that's it that's all i have for you in this video let me know in the comment section below what information or guides are you looking for when you're starting out in myth of empires the whack moments in this video were sponsored by my legendary supporters if you'd like to become a member you can click the button below that says join that'll give you all the details and if you want to continue the fun there's two videos on the screen you can pick one of those to watch next please don't forget to whack the like button and if you're new to the channel i'd encourage you to click that subscribe button click that bell so you get notified when i upload another video